Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side. Welcome to this YouTube session guys. In today's video, we are going to learn Parallel and Distributed Computing Unit 2nd Multiple Choice Question and Answer for your upcoming examination. And guys, in multiple choice question, ko aapke saath share karne ke saath saath main yehi kehna chahungi. Please, aap apni theory clear kijiye, apne subject mein jo bhi topics hain, unko basic level tak clear kar lijiye. Aap achhe se theory as well as multiple choice question answer exam ke liye prepare karte hain, to aapka exam bahut achhe se ho jayega. Now, start karte hain today's video. And this, your first question is, CUDA stands for option A. Compute Unified Device Architecture Option B Compute Unit Device Architecture Option C Compute Unified Disk Architecture Option D Compute Unit Device Architecture Right answer is Option A CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture Next question CUDA is a Option A Parallel Computing Platform Option B, Programming Model. Option C, Both A and B. Option D, None of these. Right answer is Option C, Both A and B. Okay. CUDA is a Parallel Computing Platform as well as Programming Model. Okay. Next question. CUDA is developed by Option A, Nividya. Option B, AMD. Option C, Intel. Option D, Rapids. Right answer is option A, Nividya. Okay. Next question. CUDA is used to enable option A, Graphics Processing Unit. Option B, Graphical Processing Unit. Option C, Graphics Proceed Unit. Option D, Graphical Processed Unit. Right answer is option A, Graphics Processing Unit. Okay. CUDA is used to enable graphics processing unit. Next question. CUDA platform is designed to work with programming language. Option A, C. Option B, C++. Option C, Fortran. And option D, all of the above. Right answer is option D, all of the above. Okay. So, CUDA platforms is designed to work with programming language C and C++ and as well as Fortran also. Next question, which of the following statements are true with, with regard to compute capability in CUDA? Option A, code compiled for hardware of one computer capability will not need to be recompiled to run on hardware of another. Option B, different compute capabilities may imply a different amount of local memory per thread. Option C. Compute capability is measured by the number of flops a GPU accelerator can compute. And right answer is option B. Different compute, different compute capabilities may imply a different amounts of local memory per thread. Okay. Next question. Which of the following correctly describes a GPU kernel? Option A. All three blocks involved in the same computation use the same kernel. Option B. A kernel is a part of the GPU's internal micro operating system allowing it to act as an independent host. Option C. A kernel may contain a mix of host and GPU code. Option D. None of these. Right answer is option A. All three blocks involved in the same computation use the same kernel. Okay. Next question, which of the following is not a form of parallelism supported by CUDA? Option A, vector parallelism. In this, floating point computation are executed in parallel on byte vector units. Option B, thread label task parallelism. In this, different thread execute a different task. Option C, block and grid label parallelism. In this, different blocks or grids execute different tasks. Option D, data parallelism. In this, different threads and blocks process different part of data in memory. Right answer is option A, vector parallelism. In this, floating point computations are executed in parallel on byte vector units. Next question is, the style of parallelism supported on GPUs is best described as option A, SISC, option B, MISC, option C, SIMT, 
SIMT stands for single instruction multiple thread and guys SIST or MIST ki full form maine aapko unit 1 mein acche se explain kiya hai and option D is none of these right answer here is option C SIMT single instruction multiple thread next question shared memory in CUTA is accessible to option A all thread associated with a single kernel option B all thread in a single block option C both the host and GPU option D none of these right answer is option B all threads in a single block okay next question parallel portions of an applications are executed on the devices option A kernels option B threads option C both A and B option D none of these right answer is option A kernels okay next question a CUTA kernels is executed by an option E array of batches, option B array of threads, option C single thread, option D single batches. Right answer is option B array of threads. Next question. Blank space is a form of parallelization which relies on splitting the computation by subdividing data across multiple processors. Option E data parallelism. Option B task parallelism, option C function parallelism, option D object parallelism. Right answer is option A data parallelism. Okay, data parallelism is a form of parallelization which relies on splitting the computation by subdividing data across multiple processors. Next question. Data parallelism performed blank space, Ta task parallelism performed blank space. According to this option A synchronous and asynchronous computation, option B synchronous and synchronous computation, option C asynchronous and synchronous computation, option D asynchronous and asynchronous computation. Right answer is option A synchronous and asynchronous computation. So data parallelism performs synchronous task parallelism performed asynchronous computation okay next question CUDA source file can have a mixture of option A host host code option B device code option C both A and B and option E none of these right answer is option C both A and B okay so CUDA source file can have a mixture of host code as well as device code next question Declares a function that is executed on device and callable from device only. Option A underscore device underscore. Option B underscore global underscore. Option C underscore host underscore. Option D none of these. Right answer is option A underscore device underscore. Okay. So underscore device underscore declares a function. That is executed on device and callable from device only. This is very important question, guys. Next question. What is R true about global? Option A. Declares a function as kernel. Option B. Must have void return type. Option C. The function is only executable on the device. Callable from the host and devices. Option D. All of these. Right answer is option D. All of these. Okay. Next question. What is R true about variable type qualifier underscore device underscore? Option A. Resides in global memory means DRAM. Option B. Is accessible from all the threads within the grid. Option C. Is accessible from the host through the runtime library. Option D. All of these. Right answer is option D. All of these. Next question. What is R true about variable type qualifier underscore shared underscore? Option A. Resides in shared memory of a thread block. Option B. Is only accessible from all the threads within the block. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. Right answer is option C. Both A and B. Okay. Next question. What is strategy? Thus, the GPU employs if the threads within a wrapped drivers 
diverge in their execution. Option A. All possible execution paths are run by all threads in a warp serially so that threads and structures do not diverge. Option B. Threads are moved to different wraps so that divergence does not occur within a simple wrap. Option C. Threads are allowed to diverge. Option D. None of these. Right answer is option A. All possible execution paths are run by all threads in a wrap serially so that thread instructions do not diverge. Okay guys. Now let's wind up this lecture. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please, please, please share this video with your friends. And wish you very, very all the best for your examination. Bye-bye.